This video is a brief introduction to the database PsycInfo. PsycInfo is one-stop shopping for most of what you need for any of your psychology classes. To find the PsycInfo database, go to the library homepage and click on the databases link. Now if you click on P and scroll down a little, you will find PsycInfo. You can begin by doing a simple keyword search. For example, a search for the keyword anxiety leads to 268,000 results. Notice this is the advanced search page and I can add additional keywords So if I wanted to look at anxiety in college students, I could search for anxiety and college students. There's a separate tutorial on Boolean operators if you would like to know more information about and and other Boolean operators. Notice that when I added the second term for college students, the number of results that I get is greatly reduced. All of these results will contain both anxiety, and college students somewhere in the record. As I scroll through these results, you will notice that sometimes you see these links to the full text, and if I click on these links, the full text of the article will appear. For other articles, you will not see the linked full text, but you will see Lycoming availability. And if I click on this link, I will get to a page that looks like this. And this page will include information on where I can find the full text. For this article, I can find the full text in another database called Science Direct. And if I click on this link, my browser will take me to the other database to that specific article. This page may tell you that it's an open access journal, and that link will take you to the journal's website at which point you'll have to find the specific article you would like to find. Or it may tell you that you need to order your article through Interlibrary Loan. And if you use the link, it will take you directly to the Interlibrary Loan system. And once you have an account, it will fill out the request form for you. And all you have to do is log in and then click on the Submit button. Back at the top of my search, you will see that on the left side of the page, there are many options for refining these results. So for example, I may want to click on linked full text. Notice that I have almost 14,000 results without checking linked full text. And once I click on that, I am now down to 3,000 results. All of the results in this search with this limiter have the full text link below the article. You will notice that the article that was available in full text in ScienceDirect is no longer here. I strongly caution you against using the linked full text limiter except in special situations because it limits your results drastically. The results that are left in this search are only results that have the full text directly within this single database. So if I undo this, I will get back to my 13,000 results. And just below that full text limiter we just explored, you will notice that there is a publication date limiter. Oftentimes your professor will tell you they want articles in the last 10 years. So I can easily eliminate the older articles by saying I only want articles that were published between 2010 and 2020. And if I click on the enter key, my list of results has gone from almost 14,000 to 4,000. While this is quite a jump, that is eliminating articles that are over 100 years old. So the articles that are left in this search are much more likely to be relevant to your assignment. Furthermore, most of what you need for your assignments will be journals, but that is not the only format type of materials that appear in PsycInfo. You can find more information on what information formats are available in your search results under source types. And you will notice that the vast majority are journals, but there are also nearly 700 dissertations 
and 85 books. And as those are more difficult to obtain, and as they are generally less relevant to the assignments that the psychology department requires, you may want to limit to only academic journals. And you will notice that now I am down to 3,287 articles. This is the end of this video, and thank you for watching.